for these passengers, it's one last chance to ride the old streetcar. Like many here, Lex Reed is feeling a tad nostalgic. He remembers riding it as a kid with his mom. My favorite memories is like sitting down at the door, opening the window, looking outside, feeling the breeze on your face. For Felix Ahn, it's all about... The gong, like the bell, is like that. that's like one of the most iconic sounds of Toronto. I'm a transit fan. You're obsessed with transit. Yeah! yeah. They're just so romantic, kind of. Riding them in the rain especially is so nice. You can sit there and dream. And the Wilk siblings came all the way from London, Ontario to hitch a ride. Well, we drove uh, two hours. We felt that it was a last opportunity to, to come and see it. And I suppose we were always fascinated, especially with the Swiss-built ones. It's like a blast from the past. It's really nice. The first of these streetcars arrived in Toronto on December 29th, 1977, exactly 42 years ago today. And they first went into service in September 1979. In total, the city purchased 196 of them. Watch your back there, folks. Brenda Michaud has been operating them for 23 years. Yeah, apparently they're going to retire the old rattler. That would be me. <laughs> she says it's bittersweet. The new vehicles have heat and air conditioning, but also enclosed cabs, which means... There's a lot less interaction. And the subway guys tell me you get used to it because they don't have it either. After today, all the old streetcars will have been replaced by the more accessible low-floor streetcars by Bombardier, which have been steadily growing in numbers for the last five years. I think it's just an evolution of the city. Lawrence Loy is a transit planner with the TTC. He says it comes down to improving service. So they're larger, so they're helping to carry more people, um, and that's really important in downtown Toronto. The new streetcars are expected to last the next 30 years. As for the old ones, a few will be added to collections at transit museums across North America. Kelda Yoon, CBC News, Toronto.